Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to cover 10 of my must-have items that I source for Amazon for the RC hobby. Before we get into it, I'll have affiliate links in the description for every one of the things I'm about to show you. I can't control stock, of course, so hopefully they'll be in stock if you go to get them. And if you do choose to use them, just understand that the channel gets a little bit of a kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. With that out of the way, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to show you are improved XT connectors. And the first one is the XT90. I have these Spark Arrest XT90s, and I like them because this is a connector without a Spark Arrest. And when you connect it to a device, you'll hear an audible and visual pop on the terminals as the connection is made. I like the Spark Arrest ones better because they basically eliminate that arcing process altogether. So when you connect these, it's very quiet, no arcing sound, no damage occurring to your terminals. So on the XT90 front, I like these spark arrest terminals quite a bit. And on the XT60 front, I like these XT60s with the little sheathing. It's just a much more finished look than straight shrink wrap. It just looks better. And then the second one is it gives you something to pull on. So there's a little bit of a ridge here and it gives you something to pull on when you're separating your XT connectors. And then the last thing that I really like about them is if you need to take them apart, you don't have to necessarily damage your wires when you do that. So if you've ever had to remove wire from an XT60 connector, you know that to cut the heat shrink off, you risk slicing into your wire. These avoid that problem altogether because they just pop off and you separate them and you can just go about your work desoldering. So I really like these sheathed XT60 connectors and I like these Spark Arrest XT90 connectors. Next up are battery anti-slip pads. These are made of silicone and they've got a sticky back so you can stick them to just about any surface you need. I originally got into these with quads but as you can see I've got a heli battery pack here and I use these now on everything including my helicopter battery packs and the reason I like these so much instead of velcro is because now I'm not forced to put velcro on the battery and the tray in order to get things to stick. All you need to do is put the silicone down on the surface that you're mounting to. And when you put some Velcro straps across the battery to cinch them down on that silicone pad, they're on there, they're not going anywhere. So I really like these a lot and I use them on everything now. I use them on helicopters, airplanes, quads, pretty much everything I've got. I no longer put Velcro on the bottom of my batteries. Next on the list is Hatchbox Filament. I really like Hatchbox Filament. I've printed with all kinds of other materials, but I'll tell you this Hatchbox stuff, I don't know what it is about it, but I wind up getting really awesome prints with this stuff every time I use it. I really like the Hatchbox PLA. This is in red. Of course, you've got to size it for your printer. Mine is a 1.75 millimeter, and this is a one kilogram spool. So you can get these on Amazon. They're about 21 bucks, so they're not the cheapest, but boy, do they always give me good prints. I, I never complain about prints I get from Hatchbox PLA. I cannot tell you how valuable it is to have a little kit like this. When I'm making things for my planes or my helicopters or my quads, I'm always looking for a little bit of wire. And this 24 AWG stuff is good for small electronics. So if you need to make adapters or connectors or bridges or, or something connected to a receiver on a small pad, this stuff is just awesome. Any kind of flight computer work, you can't go wrong having this hookup wire kit. It's relatively cheap and it is actually silicone. It's got a high strand count. It's very flexible. What's funny is I saw a review on Amazon and the guy said, well, I can't use this stuff. It flops all over the place. Well, that's exactly what we want on RC. We want it to be flexible and routable. So I love this stuff. It's a hookup wire kit from a brand called Plusivo, and uh, you just can't go wrong having this in your stash. And then to go along with your hookup wire kit, it's also good to get some heat shrink. I like this assortment from Eventronic, and there's a lot of different brand names out there, so don't get too hung up about the manufacturer or the label, the OEM label. That doesn't really matter. But I like this particular kit because it has a lot of the sizes that I use quite a bit in RC. Now, you might say, well, I noticed that some of these are full and some of these are kind of used up. So what ends up happening is I use this group quite a bit. I use this group quite a bit. And of course, I use these a lot for batteries and terminals and, you know, these big XT90 connectors and things things like that. But it's a relatively good mix. And the cool part is this is only like six bucks. So it's so cheap. I know you'll go out and say, well, I can get spools of it for, you know, a dollar a foot. This is six bucks for the whole kit. So it's just cheap and it's easy and very convenient because everything is cut to a size that you use quite a bit. So heat shrink and hookup wire can't go wrong with having an assortment like this in your, in your stash because it lets you make just about anything you need on the small electronic side. 
Next up are flush cut side cutters. I first learned about these when I got into 3D printing because they're used to cut filament, but they also work great on small electronics. I get a five pack of these on Amazon for about 10 bucks, and then if they get a little worn out or dull or chipped or loose or whatever, you just toss them and move on to the next set. You could sharpen them if you want to be eco-friendly, that's fine, but for $2 a pair, it's not a hard thing just to switch over and get yourself a five pack so you have spares. I really like these 9 gram Tower Pro generic servos that I get on Amazon. You can get a 10 pack of these for about 16, 17 bucks. Price varies, they kind of moves around a little bit. But you can use these on any kind of small airplane or for any kind of testing that you want to do. I use these 9 gram servos on my RCVR1 demo model and they can be used in all kinds of other applications like lightweight planes, like a flight test or maybe a small flying wing. They're just very cheap and handy to have. I always keep these in stash because I never know when I need a little 9 gram servo. Next up is double-sided Velcro. This is three quarter inch, it's double-sided, it sticks to itself, it's not a sticky back. And you might go, well, what the heck, man? That's a pretty simple thing to have, but I use this stuff for all kinds of things. I originally bought it for my landing gear tie-down straps, but after I used them there, I started using them to make battery straps, I use it to secure wires, I use it to secure wires on my audio visual rig for making YouTube videos. I can't believe this was a big role when I got it. I use this stuff all the time. So double-sided Velcro, three quarter inch, very handy in the hobby to have this. You make all kinds of neat things with it. Double-sided Velcro, three quarter inch, awesome little gadget to have in your stash. LLPT double-sided tape. This stuff is the whip. I learned about this on a YouTube channel called Project Farm where the guy tests a whole bunch of tools and equipment and greases and oils. He does all these comparison tests. What I love about it is it's very thin and very sticky. You can only really use it once. So once you stick it down, that's it. If you have to take it apart and reposition, you may as well throw the tape away and start with a new piece. But boy, when you stick it down that first time, this stuff really holds and it's huge. This roll of tape goes for like $11 on Amazon. I bought this a year and a half ago and I'm not even halfway through it. I love this stuff. It's dirt cheap. It sticks really well. It's just a great solution for double-sided tape. Neodymium magnets. I use these things all the time. They can be used to hold tools. They can be used to hold canopies down. If you have a canopy that's fluttering around and you need to add a few extra magnets, these work great for that. If you're doing a build and you need a magnetic hold on a screw, you just connect one of these magnets to your driver. And buddy, I'll tell you, it pulls on that screw. It makes it really easy to magnetize any tool that you're using that can take a magnet. Uh, they come in a 45 pack for about 10 bucks. So just, they're just cheap to buy and they're an awesome little tool to have in your stash. And while we're on the subject of steel, also check Amazon out for things like number 11 blades. They sell really cheap on Amazon. You can get a hundred pack for like 10 bucks. So these are disposable. I burn through these in an alarming rate. So I always need to find the cheapest ones I can. Amazon is a really good source for number 11 blades along with the magnets. Finally, I've got a set of stainless steel calipers. Now, I don't have the exact link for this set on Amazon because they're sold out. So I found an, what looked like an equivalent and I linked to that. I don't own the one that I provide the link for, but they look very similar to these. The reason I like the stainless steel calipers is because they just simply feel more locked in than the plastic set I have. When I use these, I feel like I can loosen that screw. I can move the caliper where I need it to be. When I put that set screw down, it doesn't move. Everything is just locked in nice and tight. It just feels more sturdy and more high quality than the plastic set. And when it comes to calipers, I actually keep these very close by. I'm constantly reaching for calipers. You got to have a nice set of digital calipers in your stash when you're building RC models. Okay, that wraps up my top 10 list of Amazon must-haves for the RC hobby. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. If you don't mind using my affiliate link to grab any of the things you saw today, that'd be awesome. Like I said, the channel gets a little bit of a kickback, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy, and go fly something! Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.